morning to everyone assembled here let food be the medicine and medicine be the food with this quote we take the privilege of comparing this webinar on ipr introduction to intellectual property copyright and patent organized by department of nutrition and dietetics and institution innovation council and it is a pleasure to welcome you all to this wonderful platform to begin this day orderly let us first invoke the presence of the almighty without whose guidance this program would have been just black and white guru dhamma guru vishnu guru devo mageshwara guru shacha para brahma dasmai shri gurave namaha thank you ramana ji hospitality is an arguably one of the defining qualities of our college our mission is fast to become immeasurable when our guests are around us today as we celebrate this landmark our hearts are inspired with joy and our readiness to be with us that to be formally welcome the gathering may i would like to invite this our guru serving ma'am head department of nutrition and dietetics to formally welcome the gathering please ma'am Ma'am, your voice is not audible, ma'am. Sorry, sorry. Good morning, everyone. I am the Department of Nutrition, Dietetics, and Institution Innovation Council, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. I welcome you all for the webinar on IPR Introduction and Intellectual Property and Patent. I feel much delighted to welcome our honorable founder and chairman, late Lion Dr. K. S. Rangasamy, NJF, K. J. K. S. R. Educational Institution, and my hearty welcome to our young and energetic vice chairman, Mr. R. Srinivasan, who is supportive in all the development of our institution, and most respected executive director, Mrs. Kavita Srinivasan, in absentia. Let me. Offer your wonderful welcome. Please welcome Yana, who is boosting support and essence essence of hard work. Welcome you, sir. My hearty welcome to the president of Institutions Innovation Council, Mr. Arun Jio Bablu, to gathering here. Welcome you, sir. It's my pleasure to welcome Hana, Dr. R. Arun Kumar, sir, Assistant Professor, Rampo Institute. Of Technology, Rajapalayam, Master Trainer, E E W Government of Tamil Nadu, Certified Patent Agent, Rajapalayam. A man with brain stream knowledge and surprising talents to this marvelous gathering. Welcome you, sir. My deepest welcome to all the delegates and participants from various departments, heads, faculties, and students. Once again. I welcome you all this special occasion. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am, for your earnest welcome address, and that will make our guests feel at home here. Conquer the world with your smile and educate the world with your thoughts. Words of motivation and knowledge can turn any person into a wondrous personality. I would like to welcome Ms. R. Ranganayi, Senior Year Department of Nutrition and Dietetics, to introduce Dr. R. Arun Kumar Sir, Assistant Professor, Ranko Institute of Technology, Rajapalayam, Master Trainer, E. W. E. D. W. Government of Tamil Nadu, Certified Agent, Rajapalayam. Life is a journey with problems to solve and lessons to learn, but most of all, experience to enjoy. A very good morning to one and all gathered here. I am on cloud nine to spell out Dr. Arun Kumar Sir's profile. 
Dr. Ravan Kumar R, Master Trainer, EII Government of Tamil Nadu, Certified Patent Agent and Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineer, Engineering, Ramco Institute of Technology, Rajapalayam, Tamil Nadu. He has done his PG in BE Mechanical Engineering with first class distinction. He has done his PG in Mechanical Engineering, Energy Engineering with first class distinction and he was the topper of the batch. He, he pursued PhD in the area of solar thermal research as a part-time at Anna University. He started his journey as assistant professor from July 2016 to till date. He is the convener of Institution Innovation Council, RIT, coordinator of RIT IPR cell, coordinator of RIT ED cell, coordinator of RIT MSME Incubation Center. He has one year experience as team leader at Toyota Shuso Assembly, Indian Private Limited, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Dr. Ravan Kumar sir is a certified patent agent and master trainer of EII government of Tamil Nadu. He has more than six years of experience in IP and entrepreneurship field. He had filled four patents on his own and helped in drafting more than 20 Indian patents. He holds four copyright registration for the academic works developed by him. His possession extends to one industrial design registration grant also. Certified as domains followed by NPTEL in patents and IPR domain. He had shared his IP in entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship expertise during 40 plus occasions in more than 20 institutions through guest lectures, workshops and webinars. His list of getting expertise in IP and entrepreneurship field made him to successfully complete 10 plus online courses on IPR and entrepreneurship in MOVC platforms and learning still continues. We are very glad to have you at Mr. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Ravanandi. Let's move on to the next question. Arun, sir, the platform is yours, please, sir. Yeah, thank you. Am I audible now? Yes, sir, you are audible. Sir. Yeah, fine. Uh, so, thank you. So, once again, uh, good morning, all. So, I would like to thank, uh, before getting into the session, uh, uh, the KSR College of Art and Science for uh, providing me this opportunity and the organizers as well as my own institute for uh, giving me this platform to share my knowledge on uh, IPR. So I would like to turn off my video so that uh, we'll get a better clarity and bandwidth. Okay, fine. So uh, I would like to make a small request to all the participants. Uh, uh, let us make uh, the session an interactive one so that uh, uh, we'll be able to get a better clarity on uh, what is uh, IP and what are all the different types of IP. And uh, after the conclusion of the session, uh, we'll get a better knowledge on uh, IP, that is in the basics of IP. So with this insight, uh, I would like to get into the content. So before uh, the content, I would like to uh, claim a small disclaimer. So here uh, in this presentation or throughout the presentation, I have used uh, uh, various images, logos, and brand names of uh, various companies and organizations. And the purpose of uh, uh, introducing or including those logos or brand names is only meant for an understanding purpose. And I'm here not to promote or uh, demote any brands or organization here. So the agenda for this uh, next one hour or one hour, 15 minutes session will be uh, going in this flow. So first we'll try to understand what is an intellectual property is and what is the need for intellectual property rights followed by the different types of uh, IP rights. And here we'll focus uh, more on patent and its criteria and the remaining forms of IP along with copyright I'll be uh, uh, narrating in detail. So this is how the agenda of this uh, session will be going on. Now, okay, so hopefully you will be able to see uh, uh, two images in this uh, slide, right? Uh, so whether my screen is visible, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. So, so can anyone tell what is the image that is towards the left side of this uh, presentation slide? That is this one. So, what about the Tanjore? Yeah, exactly. Very good. So, it's a Tanjore big temple. And what about this one towards right? Yes, obviously it is Taj Mahal, right? Now, the actual question is, whenever we see Taj Mahal, who is the person who will be coming in front of us? So, whenever we see this Taj Mahal, who is the person who comes in, our, in front of our mind? Can anyone? 
So whenever we see this Taj Mahal, uh, who is the person who will be coming in front of our mind? So obviously, Shah Jahan, right? So Shah Jahan. And what about this one towards this left? Whenever we uh, see this Taj of Big Temple, who is the person who comes into our mind? You can either unmute or you can uh, type in the chat box also. I have opened the chat box too. Can anyone? So whenever we see this Tanjur temple, who is the person who comes into our mind? Raja Raja Solan. Ah, exactly. Thank you. It's Raja Raja Solan, right? Now the further question related to this presentation. Now, who is the main god who is in this uh, Tanjur big temple? What is the name of the god? So obviously, uh, we, we, we used to call us Shiva, right? But what is the actual name of the god who is residing in this uh, monument? Anyone? Brahadiswaran, exactly. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Saranya. So what is the reason I asked this question is that uh, whenever we see this monument, uh, the first person we, who comes into our mind is Raja Raja Solan. So obviously, most of us will be able to think about Raja Raja Solan if we see this uh, monument. But most of us doesn't know the actual name of the God who is residing in this temple. So obviously, I got one answer, Brahadiswara. We used to call him as a Peruvadayar also. So the reason why I'm telling here is that uh, the purpose for constructing a temple or a worship place is to worship God. But most of us doesn't know who is the God residing in this temple. But we are able to identify who is the person who constructed that temple. That is the importance of property. So whenever, if we create any remarkable property, that property one day will become an identity for an individual. That is why even, even if you if you go to your own uh, deity temple, you will be able to see who are all the person who contributed for constructing this uh, temple. What is the reason for it? It is a reason through which we will be able to think and know about our ancestors who had contributed for constructing that temple. So it's a part of our life. So whenever we create a property and if that property becomes a valuable property, one day that property will become an identity for every individual. And that is why we need to create the property that becomes valuable and in turn, it helps you to remember even after our lifetime. In that way, this Tanjur Big Temple had become an identity for Raja Raja Solan rather than Perudaya. And uh, I would like to tell an example, another here example. Here is that uh, it is about onion. See, what is the price of onion at present in market? Can anyone tell? What is the price of onion at present? Twenty rupees, sir. Uh, probably it is around uh, forty to sixty. It is varying between forty to sixty. Uh, but uh, in previous, uh, that is uh, around three to four months or six months back, uh, we have seen the price of onion. It have risen up to one twenty or one fifty rupees. So yeah. we have to understand why there is a fluctuation. Because I would like to stress here is that onion is a commodity which we people are using in our day to day life in our kitchen. And onion is a tangible property. Tangible in the sense we can touch it and feel it. So onion is a commodity which we are using in our day-to-day -day life and we are regularly seeing it. And the reason for this price fluctuation is that whenever the demand for onion increased, that is whenever the gap between the demand and supply is increasing, the price of the commodity will be increasing. In that way, when there was a demand and a supply, when there was a gap between demand and supply, the price of onion went up to 120 to 150 rupees. And obviously you would have seen in the newspapers and news. So in many places across India, people had started to steal onion in terms of bags and huge uh, uh, kilograms of weight. Right? So why I'm telling here is that Onion is a tangible property, which means we can touch and feel. And onion is a commodity which we are using in our day-to-day -day life. And once, if the demand of that onion had increased, it had led to a situation where people started to steal onion. 
think about that if you had created a property and that to an intellectual property which means an intangible property your intellectual work cannot be touched and feel touched and felt until otherwise you are converting into a final uh, shape so until until then it will be called as an intangible property if you had created something and that creation is having certain value it will be easily stealing your properties your intellectual works and that is where this intellectual property comes in so hopefully you would have understood what is the what is the reason for uh, uh, this intellectual property rights because in the past uh, 8 to 10 years in india we have talked a lot about intellectual property rights so to put it in simple words what is meant by intellectual property is any kind of property that comes out of our human intellect that comes out of our creations or that come out of our brain can be called as an intellectual property it can be in any form it can be a book it can be an artistic work it can be an invention whatever it may be until it is coming out into a final shape it will be in terms of an intangible property and people can easily steal our intangible properties and to protect your intellectual work this intellectual property rights comes into the picture so hopefully you would have understood so intellectual property is nothing but to put it in simple words any creations or any property that comes out of our intellect can be called as an intellectual property and the right that is given for the creator the legal rights that is given for the creator or the inventor is called as intellectual property rights so you need to protect your property i just put a simple question here see you are owning a car someone stops for example say you are going on the road the police stops and he is asking you whether this car belongs to you now you have to prove that that car belongs to you to the policeman how you will be able to prove it how can you prove that car belongs to you showing them license sir uh not exactly license ma'am license is uh, it is a kind of uh, uh identity proof or uh, telling you the ability to drive or you are 18 plus now you need to sir, show that uh, that car belongs to you how can you tell the car belongs to you what is the proof for it asim ah uh, exactly the registration certificate exactly so in that registration certificate it will be having or it will be uh, uh, furnished with the details of the owner the car details the registration number the color of the car engine number all those stuffs will be available in uh, that rc that is registration certificate so with the help of the registration certificate you will be able to prove that the car belongs to you so why i am telling here is that if you are owning any property to prove that that property belongs to you you need to have some documentary evidence a tangible evidence in a similar way if you are having any land or a home you need to prove that that house that house or the land belongs to you, you need to provide that deed so the deed or patta will be helping you to prove that that property belongs to you in a similar way the intellectual property if you need to prove that it belongs to you you need some documentary evidence a legal evidence that legal evidence is called as intellectual property rights so the protection given for an intellectual property is called as intellectual property rights so we have understood what is the meaning of intellectual property and what is mean by intellectual property rights now what is the benefit or why should i protect my intellectual property or what is the benefit that will i that i will get through this intellectual property right is that the same as we get for a tangible property so tangible in the sense for example you uh, imagine that you have constructed a new home so what can you do with that new home you can own the home that is you can reside on you you, you yourself along with your family can reside on the home and next uh, you can sell the home you can lease it you can uh, uh, even uh, give it for uh, a licensing or whatever you want to do or you can uh, even destroy it so the legal complications that can be eliminated with the help of this property rights so the legal rights provide you as the owner of the home either to reside or you can sell it or you can lease it 
or you can uh, destroy it whatever it may be so you can do whatever you want to do with a uh, house that you have constructed that is the legal system providing you as a right in a similar way if you are holding any intellectual property right you can own that right or you can sell it or you can lease it or you can license it or whatever you want to do so all kind of benefits that an individual getting for a tangible property you can get it also for an intangible property and that is what this ip will be playing the vital role and apart from these benefits there are many requirements or need for this intellectual property rights as on date as i told early in the past 8 to 10 years we the indians are talking a lot about intellectual property rights even in the revised curriculum or in the syllabus lot of universities have introduced this intellectual property rights as a as a subject or as a course or even as a part of a course so what is the need why we are talking much more about this intellectual property rights is that there are uh, uh, there are many reasons uh, for uh, talking about this intellectual property and i have listed few the first one is it prevents infringement by the competitors see for example uh, i would like to tell an example to the pro- probably all the participants or students if i'm right see a faculty is giving you an assignment a common assignment for all the students now the faculty have uh, defined the last date for submission of your assignment right now for example consider uh, the assignment is given on 19th and the faculty is asking you to submit the assignment on 25th or 26th right now you have written the assignment and you are waiting for the deadline for your submission see for example you have uh, completed your assignment as on date and you are waiting for next 3 days to submit your assignment meanwhile your friend is approaching you and your friend approaches you for uh, uh, getting a clarity on the assignment now he borrows uh, that uh, assignment which you have written from you now what your friend is going to do is that he is as it's copying your assignment and he is giving back uh, your assignment to you and without your knowledge what your friend is going to do is that he is going to submit to the faculty now the faculty had awarded maximum marks and on the deadline you are submitting next now what the faculty will be actually having in his mind is that uh, uh, you have copied from the person who had submitted already now you are in a situation to prove that you are the first creator of that assignment how you will be able to prove it is it is a kind of a complication right see you can prove that you have created the assignment first either if you have transferred the assignment by means of mail or through any uh, whatsapp or other media so that you can prove your prove the faculty with the date or time that you have created first and you have uh, given the assignment to your friend so in that way you need to prove so why i i'm telling here is that uh, if you want to prove that a property is created by you you need some documentary evidence so even in case of an assignment if there is lot of complications now think about inventions if you have created anything new and you need to prove that it belongs to you in this legal system you need a strong evidence and that evidence will be given through this uh, intellectual property rights so it helps you to prevent your invention so that someone else cannot copy your inventions so that is the first need of this intellectual property the second one is it gives complete right to the inventor legally as we saw in the previous slide you can own it you can sell it you can lease it you can license it or even you can destroy it so whatever you want to do you can do with your invention provided you are having that intellectual property right and third one is it minimizes the needless investment i just want to give an example here Uh, can anyone tell what was the vaccine we were using maximum during covid period in india what is the name of the vaccine which vaccine we used the most it's uh, covid shield right we have used covid shield and second we have used covaxin see covaxin was invented by bharat biotech in bangalore yeah thank you uh, indra thank you thank you sir thank you and uh, and you can see uh, once again the covaxin was invented by bharat biotech in bangalore which is an indigenous technology of our country and covishield was invented by oxford university and uh, 
uh, in india serum institute of uh, pune they have licensed that invention from oxford university and they marketed in india now why i am telling here is that in india in spite of covaxin being an indigenous technology of our own country we the people of india we used maximum covishield the reason is that covishield have entered into the market prior to covaxin so people have started using covishield and most people have seen it had shown a better result so that all the people started to accept this covishield over covaxin i'm not telling that covaxin is not being accepted but covishield had a market advantage over covaxin in spite of covaxin being an indigenous technology of our country the reason is that serum institute have got the license yearly before bharat biotech invented covaxin and that is one of the important need of ipr even though covaxin is an indigenous technology serum institute instead of spending lot of time in r and d they went for licensing from oxford university and they got the license they marketed in india and they got the market benefit our over covaxin so that is what this ipr will play in a vital role in minimizing the needless investment now think if the serum institute have invested lot of money time energy to find or to invent a new vaccine instead of getting license from oxford university probably they would have also spent lot of time so what they did is that instead of spending lot of uh, resources here they simply got the license they transferred the license and they marketed and they got the maximum market advantage over bharat biotech so that is the third important need of intellectual property right and the fourth one is it improves the innovation index of a country i'll tell you what is innovation index in the later slide and the next one is it helps to provide licensing agreement as i told the example of this covishield so serum institute got license from oxford university and last one is any kind of property if you are creating the sole purpose or the ultimate objective will be getting a monetary benefit so these are all the need for intellectual property rights as on date as i told in previous slide the global innovation index so what does this actual global actually global innovation index mean is that uh, uh, so in india ip right is administered by various administrative bodies in a similar way across the world all the country ip administration is administered by a single body which is called as wipo wipo is a branch of un united nations organization so wipo is expanded as world intellectual property organization so what does this wipo does is does is that uh, they'll be releasing an index called global innovation index every year and you can see the ranking of our uh, country so india stands at 46th spot and one positive thing is that in the recent index that is global innovation index 2022 we have moved to 40th spot see uh, see uh, why i am uh, presenting this uh, slide is that uh, we know that india is the youngest country in the world so it is uh, uh, not an youngest it is blessed with lot of young people in the world the average age of indian is said to be around 27 years so 27 years is the average age of an indian in spite of having this young human resource still we haven't utilized it properly that is why we are standing at 40th spot in this global innovation index this is the right time we need to utilize this young human resource if we fail to do it think about a, a, a period of time after 20 or 30 years so what is going to happen all these young population will be converting into an old age population at that time we can't effectively use our intellectual works so that is why in the recent days the government of india as well as every state government have to had uh, started to promote these uh, intellectual property rights they are providing funding for uh, uh, many inventors and they are providing funding for organizing events awareness and even you would, you would have seen uh, uh, they have uh, created a nipam awareness program so all these stuff the reason is that we indians are lagging in awareness it doesn't mean that india is not having innovation we do have innovations 
but we fail to protect our innovation due to lack of awareness i'll just prove you with some statistics that india is lagging in awareness see this is the statistics released by world intellectual property organization so here they have released the statistics of patents that have been filed in 2020 2020 ல எத்தனை பேட்டர்ன்ஸ் कंट्री वाइज ஃபைல் பண்ணிருக்காங்க அப்படிங்கறத they have listed here you can see the numbers of china it is almost 1497000 they are leading across the world with a with a number of 1497000 you can see the same period of time you can see the numbers of india it is just 56771 and in 2020 across the world 32 lakh 76000 patents have been filed among which 45 percentage is the contribution from china alone and that is why china is leading in the economy race and uh, almost we have started the the economy have got converted as a knowledge driven economy in this knowledge driven economy china is having uh, an advantage over other country the reason is that they are protecting their inventions and innovations and they are commercializing it but we indians fail to protect our innovations once again i'm stressing it doesn't mean that we don't have innovations we do have innovations but we fail to protect our innovations so this is the statistics related to patent and uh, the next uh, statistics is related to trademark so i'll tell you what is meant by trademark in the later slide so trademark is like uh, uh, a representation of an organization can be a logo it can be a brand name all those stuff can be protected under trademark and uh, across the world over 1 lakh i'm sorry uh, 17 crores uh, i'm sorry 1 crore 71 lakh 98 thousand trademarks have been filed out of which 54 percentage is from china almost 93 lakh 45000 trademarks have been filed in china and here you can see in india it is just 4 lakh 24000 and uh, the third one is it is related to uh, uh, design registrations industrial designs here you can see the number of china so numbers is 7 lakh 70000 whereas you can't see india here during the same period india had filed around 15000 design registrations see why i have shared the statistics is that uh, i just want to convey you that we indians fail to protect our inventions under ip rights i just prove you with an another statistics which is also released by wipo see you can see four columns here that is four graphs here so the, you can follow my cursor the graph at the left it indicates the statistics of india and graph at the right it indicates the statistics of china see you can see three colors in this presentation in each graph orange dark blue and light blue right this orange indicates uh, sorry uh can the participants can you me yeah yeah sorry ஒன்ஸ்ட் <laughs> பை <laughs> and non indian in india that is people those who are filing in india and they doesn't belong to india that is foreigners filing in india and this dark blue indicates patents filed by indians in india and this light blue indicates patents filed by indians in other countries so orange indicates patents filed by other country people in india dark blue indicates patents filed by indians in india and this light blue indicates patents filed by indians in other countries here you can see in this graph uh, this first graph indicates number of patents filed you can see the patents filed by other country people in india's maximum 
over the resident application which indicates that india with a population of almost 140 crores it is a huge market many people across the world they are seeing india as a huge market and they are making use of this market for their own benefit whereas we indians fail to do it whereas you can see the similar graph in china towards right you can see you can follow my cursor there you can see the dark blue is maximum which indicates that the patents filed by chinese in china is maximum when compared to the other two and similarly you can see at the bottom that is this third graph you can see this is patents granted during the period 2011 to 20 here also the patent is granted maximum for a non indian whereas you can see it for china the patents is granted maximum for china because the application it is it is parallel to application now i'd like to give an another clarity see here you can see in 2020 you can see this dark blue you can follow my cursor the number of patents granted in india which is filed by indians in the year 2020 is 5000 see in india if a patent is to be granted if you are going to file it today you will be getting the result at least 3 to 4 years that is if in 2020 a patent is granted it should have been filed in the year 2016 or 17 which indicates that in 2020 5000 patents have been granted so it should have been filed in the year 2017 and you can see at the top in 2017 15000 applications have been filed which indicates that among 15000 applications approximately 5000 applications have been granted that is one in every three application is granted with patent we can compare the same in china also in 2020 the number of patent granted is 4 lakh 20000 which means that those should have been filed in the year 2017 or 2016 in 2017 the number of patents applied that is patent applications applied the count is approximately 12 lakh which indicates that among 12 lakh application approximately 4 lakh 20000 applications have been granted which also indicates that one in every three application is getting granted in china and in india also one in every three application is getting granted so i would like to give a clarity that in, in quality aspect we doesn't have any compromise we do compete with chinese in terms of quality but we fail in terms of quantity so why i am showing this presentation or the statistics is that the reason for india lagging in this global innovation index is that it doesn't mean that india is not having innovation we do have innovation but we fail to protect it and we fail to commercialize it so for creating that awareness this forthcoming slides will be helping you so hopefully you would have understood what is meant by intellectual property what is meant by intellectual property rights and what is the need for this intellectual property rights as on day now we'll get into the next core content the types of intellectual properties in india there are eight different types of ip rights which we'll be seeing in the forthcoming uh, uh, period of time so those eight contents are patents trademark copyright industrial design geographical indication trade secret ic protection and the last one is plant variety and farmers right protection so these are all the eight different types of uh, ip rights that has been administered in india so i am confining my content with respect to our country so these are all the eight different types of ip rights that is been administered in india so we look into each and every intellectual property in detail one by one so first we discuss about patent so hopefully uh, if, if 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 it is needed you kindly make a note of it and meanwhile i will share the ppt also i'll share my presentation with the organizers so if required you can make a note of it see patent in india it is granted only for inventions and innovations so there is a big misconception across the uh, state or across the country many people uh, uh, get uh, misconfused or many people get confused that uh, an ip is patent alone so or patent is the only form of ip it is not so there are eight different ip rights or there in india and patent is one among those eight ip right and patent in india it is granted for inventions and innovations 
and that inventions can be either a tangible one or an intangible one as i told earlier tangible means you can touch and feel whereas intangible means you cannot touch and feel you can feel it with the help of some other devices but you cannot physically touch and feel it so patent in india has granted for inventions and innovations and that invention can be a tangible one or an intangible one and uh, it it is also given in india for either a product or a process so that is about patent in india so patent is given for inventions and innovation and mostly we do have another uh, misconception that uh, patent is a big thing so we cannot get a patent it is not so i just want to convey you all with a simple example here see you can see in this presentation i have shown an image here this uh, you just imagine this uh, device this device is called as a shawl s h o v e l shawl this shawl you imagine without this wheel you just think about the shawl without this wheel most probably you would have seen the shawl in uh, places like construction uh, there is building construction road construction so in those areas you would have seen now imagine yourself you are handling this shawl now see i am a right hander now i am going to handle this shawl for moving or for mobilizing the weight from one place to another place now being a right hander automatically my right hand goes to the handle of this shawl obviously right and my left hand will go to the middle of the shawl now if i want to lift the weight even in spite of being a right hander while i am handling this shawl maximum weight lies on my left hand right this is a problem vice versa for the left hander if i am a left hander handle will be uh, handle will be in my left hand and the arm will be resting on my right hand so being a left hander maximum weight will be lying on my right hand this is the problem with this shawl now the inventors came with a novel idea a shawl with a wheel see that is a simple idea right it had addressed a big problem and this uh, after after introducing the shawl with a uh, wheel what can i do i can simply i simply keep my both hands on the handle i can just lift the weight i can use the wheel for mobilizing it i can drop the weight now this is a simple solution right but it is addressing a big problem and this invention have been granted with patent in us and i have shown you the patent number also so why i am telling this example here is that patent is not a big deal at all patent is as simple if you are able to empathize a problem in the society and if you are able to provide a solution for it you need not to be a techie or you need not to be a, a big inventor just you have to empathize a problem and you have to provide a solution and if that solution is addressing that problem you can protect your invention under patent so i would like to stress here once again that patent in india is granted for an invention or an innovation and that invention can be either a product or a process and that product can be either a tangible one or an intangible one so that is all about uh, patent so we'll uh, deal it in detail in the forthcoming slides and for your information patent in india it is granted for a period of 20 years from the date of filing which means that on 19 1 you are filing a patent application and you are getting a grant and your grant period validity is up to 18 1 so 20 years of time you are having as a validity for a invention if the patent is granted so i just want to give you an example uh, i don't know most, most whether everyone watches cricket or not i just want to give an example for the tangible and that intangible product see so if you have watched cricket uh, you you will be knowing about this technology this technology is called as hawk eye technology or ball tracking system it is meant for uh, uh, for giving an accuracy in decision for leg before wicket lbw see this is a technology this technology cannot be touched and felt but we can feel this technology with the help of a monitor now this technology is an intangible one and this intangible property is granted with patent in the same cricket field 
most probably you will be aware of this stump it is called as led stump right this led stump can be touched and feel it is a tangible property and that led stump is granted with the patent so why i am telling why i have shown this image here is that patent is granted for both tangible as well as intangible products so because uh, while coming across uh, uh, many students uh, uh, many students had a misconception that uh, if a patent to be granted for an invention what they presume that that product should be tangibly or physically available only for those the patent will be granted in that way they had a misconception so i just want to give a clarity that patent is granted for both tangible as well as intangible properties also and uh, simply a patent office or an ip office won't be giving you a patent because they will be assessing your invention on three parameters if your invention is is uh, satisfying those three parameters then the patent will be granted for you and those three parameters are novelty inventive step and industrial applicability so these are all the three parameters for which an invention have to satisfy to be granted with a patent and just for your information this is the inventor he is the person who invented this led stump and you believe it or not a pair of led stumps that is six stumps three in the striker end and three in the non striker end along with four bales these six stumps and four bales can you predict what could be the cost can anyone can anyone what could be the price of this led stump you can just tell a number or you can uh, even type it in the chat box what could be the price any guess 50000 Sorry, ma'am. Thirty-five to forty thousand. Thirty-five to forty thousand. Good, good guess. But still, any closer? Anyone else? You believe it or not, the price obviously it depends upon the currency value. Approximately, it is varying between ten to twelve lakhs. that is the value of ip right he came up with this novel invention and he claimed that the accuracy of this led stump is 1 by 1 lakh per second that is within 1 by 1 lakh second if the bales are off from the stump the led will be glowing so that is the accuracy he is claiming and no one else in the world still they are trying to improve this accuracy because he filed this application in the year 2011 in 2013 it was granted for him and in 2014 or 15 it was first ever used in international cricket and the price he had fixed it to be around 10 lakh to 20 lakh and sorry 10 to 12 lakh it is it will be varying based on the currency value you can even you can uh, google it for uh, getting that uh, uh, numbers so that is the value of ip just a single invention now he had become a billionaire and that is why you cannot see this led stumps in minor tournaments that is in a bilateral trilateral tournaments in test cricket matches in normal odis you cannot see this led stump you will be able to see this led stump only in major tournaments so that is the reason and now we have a deep understanding about what are all those three criteria the first one is novelty so what does this novelty actually means is that it should be new and unknown to the public so you you need not to get a fear that we need to invent something new which is not known to known to this world it it is not so novel is as simple i'll just give you a better clarity see you can assume this gem clip before this gem clip can anyone tell how we have hold a bunch of paper before this gem clip the gem clip varadhukku munnadi or bunch of paper ah eppadi nammala hold panna mudinjathu eda vachu nama hold so we used to tie ah yes exactly so we used a thread we used to tie it so what is the problem with that uh, thread the problem is that you need to pierce a hole right you need to pierce the paper and you need to hold a bunch of paper that is the problem now you are damaging the paper to avoid that damage to eliminate that piercing of paper they have introduced the gem clip just imagine a gem clip what is a gem clip actually it is a long string a metal string it is being bended in u shape 
in both ends in opposite direction that's it it have become an invention and uh, in the it is it was invented during the period of uh, second world war you can just uh, see the history of this jemplip it is an interesting uh, interesting one as far as the time is concerned i'm not going deep into it almost 14 to 15 patents have been granted for this jemplip see it is a simple string it has been bended in u shape in opposite directions in both the ends that's it and almost 15 different patents have been given for this jemplip so that is novel so why i am telling here is that novel is you you doesn't need to get a fear that we need to think something new it is not so you can give some alterations to an existing product also and uh, now once again we will uh, talk about this gem clip the problem with a gem clip is that uh, while you are holding a large bunch of paper you cannot hold with the help of this gem clip right while while you are you are turning the paper it will come out now that is a problem in this gem clip and they came up with a further novel idea called binder clip see the mechanism of this binder clip obviously you will be knowing we are using it in our clips for drying the cloth the same mechanism has been used for this binder clip so a same mechanism in a different application can be considered as a novel one so novelty doesn't mean that it should be completely new you can either give a few modifications or you can go for a simple alterations in different applications that can be considered as novel so that is the first uh, criteria novelty second one is inventive step in inventive step alone they are requiring either one of two aspects one is there must be a technical advancement or there must be an economic significance so technical advancement for example consider uh, see you simply consider this mobile phone so early we were having a button phone and later apple introduced this touch phone that is iphone right now that is a technological advancements that technical advancement can be considered under inventive step or or an economic significance what is that economic significance means is that for example consider the price of this mobile with the, all the features considered to be around 10000 rupees now i am coming up i'm coming up with a novel process with the help of the process without affecting the features and quality of the mobile with the same quality if i am able to provide this mobile at a price of 5000 or 6000 that becomes economic significance and the process you are following to make or manufacture this mobile for 6000 rupees can be protected under patent so that is called as an inventive step for getting satisfied with the inventive step criteria either there must be a technical significance or i'm sorry technical advancement or economic significance so these are all the two aspects and the third aspect is industrial applicability so what is this industrial applicability is that the invention that you are proposing either that invention must be manufacturable or that invention must be applied in an industry so either an industry should be able to manufacture it or then industry should be able to use that invention so that is a third criteria called as industrial applicability so for a patent to be granted for an invention it should satisfy three criterias one is novelty inventive step and industrial applicability so to conclude with patents there are patents in india it is granted for either a invention or an innovation and that invention can be a product or a process and that product can be either a single article or assembly of article or even it can be a composition of matter or process of manufacturing so probably uh, all the students here or uh, if i'm if i if i'm right uh, the, you you all belong to nutrition department right so your inventions will be getting uh, a focus towards food so even in google you can type there are lot of uh, Uh, patents being granted in india for food items and uh, your invention once again should satisfy those three criteria novelty inventive step and industrial applicability it is applicable for food items also and even a composition of matter can also be granted with a patent see for example you can consider this paint uh, if i'm right it uh, it is nippon paint right uh, so you you would have seen in uh, recent days uh, advertisement that uh, nippon claim a technology called lamination technology 
and asian paints they claim a technology called silver ion technology so nippon claims that irrespective of the climatic condition the paint will prevent the wall of your home and this asian paint silver ion technology claim that it is an antibacterial paint see whatever the feature it may be finally the product if we see in a tangible way it is a paint it is a thick liquid but the features that they are claiming is because of the composition the variation in composition of matter and those composition of matter can be granted with a patent and you as a student or a, 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 a researcher belonging to a food related technology if you are coming up with a novel food or a novel nutritious food which involves variations in composition of this matters you can also protect your invention under patent and just i would like to make a better clarity that patent is not a big deal at all it is as simple because i would like to tell an example here so probably i don't know how many of you watch cricket this happened if i'm right uh, four to five years back this batsman name is uh, phil hughes so in local match while he was playing in australia he is an australian while he was playing uh, the bowler bowled a short ball short ball in the sense uh, it came and bounced back close to his head and this batsman that is phil hughes he tried to pull the ball he tried to play pull shot but he but he missed gets the ball so what happened is that he completely turned and ball hit back of his uh, uh, ear and ball hit back of his ear and you can see in this gif what happened within fractions of seconds he completely collapsed and he died because uh, 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 this bowler bowled at the speed of around 140 kilometers 140 kilometers per hour and uh, at the speed of 140 km uh, per hour uh, this ball strike is uh, the portion that is behind his ear and he uh, completely collapsed and he uh, even died so to address this problem stem guard uh, a, a company with uh, name masuri group they came with a, a helmet called stem guard so they have just introduced a protection for the portion behind your ears see this is what they have simply did and they have gone for an application for the material they have used see why i am telling this example is that the patent is not a big deal at all even every individual can go for it provided you need to empathize a problem in the society and you need to provide a solution and that solution must satisfy three criteria novelty inventive step and industry applicability if you are able to satisfy these three criteria patent will be granted for you also so this is all about patent so once again i would like to narrate what is patent patent in india is granted for inventions and innovation and that invention can be a product or a process and that product can be a tangible one or an intangible one and patent in india or across the world the period of patent grant is for 20 years so that is all about patent now we'll move on to the second form of ip right that is copyright so copyright in india it is given for any creations so patent is given for inventions and innovations and copyright is given for creations that creation can be in any of this form either a literary work a sound recording a dramatic work an artistic work a musical work a cinematography i'll just tell you an example here so after watching a program at the end of the program you would have seen in the tv that uh, they would have uh, represented with a symbol c in a circle so the copyright is reserved with uh, so and so network that is sun network or vijay television so that is a dramatic work so that can be copyrighted and even in your textbook while you are turning to the page uh, second or third page you can see who is the publisher and above the details of the publisher you can see the symbol c with circle copyright is reserved with so copyright is meant for any kind of creations and that creation can be literary work sound recording dramatic work artistic work musical work and cinematography and i just want to give you a, a clarity that copyright is one of the easiest form of ip right because copyright in india is also granted for any kind of compilations also 
for compiling also they will be giving you and for different expression of thoughts also they will be giving you copyright i'll just tell you with an example so hopefully everyone in this uh, forum you would have watched this uh, movie right jungle book so this jungle book came in different forms right it came as a book it came as a comic it came as a cartoon it came as a and a film it came as a 3d film it came as an animated film see the story of the uh, uh, theme is same jungle book in irrespective of different forms but the creators have expressed that story in their own creations one have represented as a book one have represented as a comic one had represented as a film one had represented as a cartoon see in different forms they have represented a same story and that different expression of thoughts can be protected under copyright so hopefully you understand so copyright is one of the easiest form and i just want to show you an example one more example here the presentation which i am presenting now that is this ppt which i am presenting now it is copyrighted and here you can see the copyright certificate and here you can see the signature of deputy register of copyright india they he had uh, signed and uh, uh, given the copyright certificate for this presentation see the content which i have presented here i haven't created anything new here i have referred from various sources i have compiled in a way that the audience record see but what i did is that wherever i have referred i have given the source these images are taken from this source and this image is taken from this source so wherever i have used the image you can see i have uh, uh, given the source of the content i have acknowledged that original creator and if you are acknowledging that original creator and you have compiled it in a different form then your creations can be can also be protected under copyright so that is all about copyright and copyright in india it is granted for Uh, granted for a period of 60 years after the death of the creator for example i have got copyright for this creation after my death this copyright will be uh, in life for 60 years and who will be holding this copyright uh, after my death obviously my uh, uh, that is my successors so either uh, uh, the whom i am going to refer so either it can be a family or if i want to give the right to this uh, institution the institution will be having the right so in that way this copyright will be in life for 60 years after death of the creator okay so that is about copyright now the third form of right is trade secret and this trade secret is more relevant for you guys because it is something related to for example you can consider uh, coke see coke is in the market for almost 120 plus years but till now no any competitor is able to replicate the same taste and uh, everywhere wherever you go you can have the same taste of coke it doesn't changes with respect to geographical location across the world so how because they have protected it under trade secret irrespective of geographical location there is a same taste and in spite of having been market for more than 120 years no one else is able to replicate the same taste because they have protected it under trade secret so in same way for example if you cook something and uh, if any of the people have recognized you that your cooking recipe is having a unique uh, uh, taste then you can uh, create or you can uh, protect it under trade secret so that until otherwise uh, you are not revealing it on your own uh, knowledge it will be under protection and that will have the market advantage and the trade secret is what uh, made the scope to have a market advantage that unique taste and just for your information the scope formula actually it was invented by this person john as pemberton he is a chemist and uh, uh, before he died uh, what he did is that he transferred that license completely to a firm which is coke so from then coke Uh, they had maintained the taste and no one else in the world they are unable to replicate the taste and in fact uh, you can see uh, what they say is that uh, they are protecting that chemical formula that is coke's chemical formula in a place called uh, coke world in california and uh, with a lot of technological advancements uh, and with a lot of technological protections they are protecting that uh, 
uh, trade secret formula of this uh, Coke. It seems to be, uh, that also seems to be a uh, secret. So in what way they are protecting that chemical formula is in what way, either it is in a paper form or it is in, in, uh, uh, in, 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 a, in a kind of a digital form. If he doesn't know that, it has been completely maintained as a secret. So the trade secret is one of the most relevant for food related items. And even Google search engine, it is also a trade secret. Google is not alone a single search engine. There are a lot of search engines, but in spite of having a lot of search engines, Google will give you a much more accurate results. And that is the trade secret maintained by Google. Similarly, KFC chicken across the world, they're having many outlets, irrespective of the outlets, you will be having the same taste. Similarly, the local uh, uh, brands, for example, you can consider Madurai Jigatanda. So the taste that is being given by this particular shop, Hanifa in uh, near Vilakutun, it is not being able to replicate by anyone else in the world or any other uh, companies. So that is called as trade secret. And trade secret is irrespective of time. Until a person reveals your trade secret, it will be protected till then because as i told early uh, coke more than 120 years they are surviving in the market with the help of this uh, trade secret now the fourth form of ip right is trademark so what is this trademark is that uh, any kind of mark or a sign which helps you to identify a brand or an organization then that can be protected under trademark for example it can be a smell or some it can be a brand, it can be a signature, label, name, logo, slogans, letter, words. Just I hum a music, tin, 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 tin. So hopefully you would have understood or identified. It belongs to Britannia. See, by the help of the music, we are able to identify it belongs to Britannia. And that music can be protected in the trademark. A car is moving on the road. You want to identify the car uh, that is, a, it, uh, it belongs to which company. Obviously, you'll be looking for the logo. That logo can be protected under trademark. In a similar way, these are all the different forms which can be uh, protected under trademark. So trademark is meant for any signs or any kind of uh, representations that helps you to identify the brand name. And if you want to start a business, the first thing you have to do is protect your brand name under trademark. I'll tell you why. What is the importance of this trademark? And for information, this trademark period is meant for 10 years. And after 10 years, you can renew it irrespective of time. It can, you can renew it uh, or to a period, uh, whichever you like. So it is indefinite period of time. So, but once for once in every 10 years, we need to renew it. So what is the importance of trademark? I'll just tell you. And before that, uh, I'll just give you an uh, information here. See, you in uh, if you are going to a shop and if you are going to buy any commodity you can see two indications near the brand name see for example in this india gate you just follow my cursor you can see a representation as tm and here in nike you can see a representation r in a circle the difference between these two terms is that tm indicates the trademark have been filed and yet to be granted R indicates the trademark have been filed and it is registered, that is granted. And now in market, if you are seeing this India get Basmati rice, now you can see the representation as R in a circle, which indicates that while I was preparing this PPT, it was uh, uh, represented as TM. Now it is R in a circle, which indicates that the trademark have been granted for this India get Basmati rice. So see, I told, if you are going to start a business, the first thing you have to do is register your trademark. I'll just tell you the importance of trademark with the following example. Now, what I want you to do is that, I'll just show you an image, uh, a product here. You just tell, what is the name of the product? What is the name of the product? Either you can unmute or you can uh, um, type it in chat box. What is the name of the product? Quick. Sorry. Vanaspati. Ah, exactly. Good, good. Exact answer is Vanaspati, right? But most of us will tell it as Dalda. Dalda. Dalda is a company which manufactures this Vanaspati. Even you think about yourself, if you are going to a shop, you will be asking the shopkeeper, give me Dalda. Now I tell you one thing. 
if you ask dalda the shopkeeper will be giving you this brand alone only if you are asking give me vanaspati then only the question arises which brand you want see here the brand name have overtook the product name that is the value of trademark now what about this product what is the name of this product diapers ah exactly good so this time i have got a right answer from this audience most of them had said it as pampers in a commercial way or in a conventional way we used to call it as pampers but the actual product name is diaper you are going to a shop you are asking give me pampers then the next question from the shopkeeper will be what size is that either medium small or large but if you ask the question give me diaper then only the question arises which brand you want pampers is one of the brand which manufactures this product now this pampers name had overtook the name diaper that is the brand name had overtook the product name that is the value of trademark so if you protect your brand name under trademark one day or the other that brand name will become identity for the product what about this so due to time constraint i'll tell you we used to call it as jcb but the actual name of the machine is backhoe loader jcb is one of the company which manufactures this backhoe loader what about this we used to call it as printer a uh, printer or we used to call it as a xerox machine right see xerox is a company which manufactures this machine the actual name of this machine is photocopier the actual name of machine is photocopier but even now you cannot see this machine with a brand name xerox because it it got outdated now in most of the shop you can see one uh, only the machines uh, with a brand canon but still many shops have the name as xerox shop that is the value of trademark so if you protect your brand name under trademark one day that brand name will become the identity for the product so if you are having any idea to start a business or a startup you first protect your trademark your brand name under trademark i'll just tell you an another example a familiar example obviously you all know that flipkart is a e-commerce site which is bought most that is most of the sites it is bought by walmart a us based company and you can see in the year 2018-19 in the financial year 2018-19 flipkart india had faced a loss of 3836 crores in the financial year 2018-19 whereas in the year 2018 flipkart bought just 77 percentage of the shares of flipkart that is i'm sorry walmart bought 77 percentage of flipkart share for a price of 1.2 billion us dollars a company which pays 3800 crores of loss is bought by a large retailer in the world walmart for a price of 1.2 billion us dollars that to just 77 percentage of the shares the reason trademark the company valuation the valuation of the company is decided there is many factors it will be deciding one of the factor is trademark so that is why so if you protect your name your brand name under uh, a trademark one day or the other that brand name will add value to your company so that is the fourth form of uh, 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 that is ip right i just tell you one example here obviously we have seen it yearly also in 2020 the number of trademark applied is just around 4 lakhs whereas in the same period in china it is almost 90 lakhs we have seen in our previous slides also the reason is that we do we don't have uh, that much awareness and the next form of ip right is design registration design registration is a kind of uh, ip right that is meant for the aesthetic appearance for example you consider the shape of this panta bottle so even if the label is not available you will be able to identify this bottle belongs to fanta right so that is design registration with the aesthetic appearance you are able to identify which brand it belongs to and those aesthetic appearance can be protected under design registration now i'll i'll show you an uh, example here you just tell which brand it belongs to indulika ah exactly almost everyone or everyone are able to answer right how you are able to tell it because 
a bottle in almost a brown color shape with a cap which is having a complex structure it belongs to indileka obviously without seeing the label or without seeing the brand name we are able to identify that the product belongs to indileka and that kind of unique designs can be protected under industrial design now what about this which brand this pencil belongs to okay fine what about this nadraj ah yes exactly how you are able to identify because a pencil with a body red in color and with black stripes simply we are able to identify that it belongs to nadraj so with the aesthetic appearance that design had become an identity to the brand and those stuffs can be protected under design registration and obviously we won't be able to identify which brand it belongs to and most probably uh, people with the age around uh, 28 to 35 they'll be knowing which brand it it belongs to renaults so a uh, pen with a white color body and blue color neck and cap it belongs to renaults so that kind of uh, uh, representations which becomes the identity for the brand can be protected under design registration and design registration tenure is that is a period for protection is 10 years after 10 years it uh, it will be coming into a, a public domain so design is as simple see this mobile is in a shape of almost a rectangle shape now you are coming up with a mobile with an oval shape you are coming up with a mobile with an elliptical shape even these shapes can be protected under design so design is as simple see now i am wearing a shirt which is having the stripes of black and blue if i have changed the design of this uh, shirt that can be protected under design registration so design registration is just a simple change in aesthetic appearance so it is as simple right but still even in india we fail to protect it as we saw in the previous statistics the number of applications filed in india is just 8000 in 2020 in the same period the number of applications filed in us is all i'm sorry uh, china is almost around 8 lakhs that is 8000 and 8 lakh we fail to protect it we do have inventions and innovations but we don't have awareness so that is why we are lagging and the next form of ip right is plant variety protection so any form of new inventions that is related to plant variety that can be protected under plant variety and farmers right protection in india it also requires three criteria satisfaction novelty inventive and uh, industrial applicability so for example you can consider this bt cotton this bt cotton uh, uh, is a plant uh, which is affected by this ball worm so ball worm will be uh, affecting this plant so that uh, what happens is that as a result the yield of the cotton plant have drastically reduced so the company which is monsanto they came up with a novel seed so they genetically transformed the seed of this uh, cotton plant and they came up with this bt cotton plant and this bt cotton plant is not getting affected by this ball worms so a genetically transformed seed or a plant can be protected under this plant variety and farmers right protection and the last form of ip right is geographical indications which is called as in tamil as pubi sar kurid so any commodity that is having its quality or identity with respect to the geographical area for example uh, uh, probably tirchangod belongs to uh, ero district if i am right uh, what is this, what is famous in e ero turmeric ah uh, yes erod manjal nam solluvom laya it is been protected under geographical indication erod manjal uh, erod turmeric have been granted with geographical indication similarly tanjavur thalayatti bommaya irukatum illa madurai malliya irukatum illa kovayoda wet grinder irukatum illa kanjipuram silk irukatum whatever it may be so any commodity which has its unique quality based on a specific geographical area those kind of commodity can be granted with geographical indications and the only difference for this geographical indications when compared with the remaining seven form is that gi that is geographical indications gi won't be granted for any individual or thanipatta navarku geographical indications valangapadathu it will be given only for a group of people or for an association 
and uh, this geographical indication commodities can fall under these four categories one is agricultural product second one is manufactured commodities third one is handicraft work and fourth one is natural and foodstuffs these four stuffs can be protected under geographical indications and just for your information the first ever geographical indication in india was granted for darjeeling tea it was granted in the year 2004 and surprisingly in tamil nadu it was granted for even most of us doesn't know that this commodity is having a geographical indication salem fabric salem fabric is the first ever product that has been granted with uh, uh, geographical indications in india and there are lot other uh, geographical indications uh, i'm sorry the previous one is of tamil nadu and there are lot other geographical indications for your information tamil nadu is the second state with maximum number of geographical indications put together if i'm right uh, 39 geographical indications have been granted for tamil nadu alone and karnataka is the first state with maximum number of protections and the recent geographical indication was granted for narasingapetta nagaswaram so that belongs to tamil nadu so narasingapetta nagaswarathukku tha samipathula வழங்கப்பட்ட ஜியோகிராபிக்கல் இன்டிகேஷன் தட் இஸ் புவிசார் குறியீடு அண்ட் இன் பைப்லைன் தேர் ஆர் லாட் ஆஃப் ஜியோகிராபிக்கல் இன்டிகேஷன்ஸ் ஹவ் பீன் அப்ளை அதுல ஒன்னு எது அப்படினா இந்த திருச்செந்தூர்ல இருக்கக்கூடிய இந்த சில்லு கர்பட்டி சோ இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய பொருட்கள் வந்து பார்த்தோம் அப்படினா இட் இஸ் பீன் இன் பைப்லைன் ஃபார் கெட்டிங் கிராண்ட் சோ that is all about the eight different forms of ip so hopefully you got a better understanding about eight different forms of ip and uh, the most important thing that you people can go for it patent copyright and uh, as far as uh, in your student concern i'm telling so uh, you can go for a patent and you can go for a copyright and once if you have entered into a business you can start exploring towards trademark and uh, if your product uh, has a unique design you can go for an industrial design and third one is you can go for a trade secret as far as your uh, your your more focus towards food and uh, if any of you want to go for a trade business you can join in the association which had bought this geographical indications because these gis are uh, uh, most mandate for export products for exporting so uh in, in that stuff if you are having interest to uh, enter into a trade or business and that is related to any product uh, which is having this unique characteristics then you can go for it you can register yourself as a member in that respective association and you can go for the business so with this all insight uh, i would like to conclude uh, so once again i would like to uh, thank uh, uh, the management of your institution as well as the department as well as head of the department for uh, giving me this opportunity to share what i have uh, learned in the past 6 to 7 years in uh, ip once again ip is a huge ocean what i have learned so far is uh, just few drops and i have shared what i have learned to you so there are lot of career opportunities are also available in this uh, ip field being a student uh, you can uh, explore yourself in this ip related area and you can also get uh, a career opportunity in this ip so with this i would like to conclude uh, Uh, by thanking my own institute for giving me this platform and uh, uh, for sharing my knowledge so thank you all now the forum is open for uh, questions if uh, any questions you can ask me thank you to us if you have any question thank you sir Yes, good afternoon, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good afternoon. Sorry, it's not clear. So, when we buy this copyright and the patent, is have any age restrictions? Ah, there is no age restriction at all. There is no any age restriction. and uh, even you need not to be uh, uh, you need not to belong to that country also it, 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 there is no restriction in terms of age or gender or geographical area whatever it may be there is no any age restriction for it
Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. சரியான <laughs> நீங்க ஒரு டயட் பிளான் போடுறீங்க அந்த டயட் பிளானுக்கு பேட்டன்ட் வாங்கலாமா அப்படின்னு கேட்குறீங்க அப்படின்னா இல்ல வாய்ப்பு இல்ல நீங்க டயட் பிளானுக்கு என்ன பண்ண முடியாது அப்படின்னா பேட்டன்ட் வாங்க முடியாது இப்ப உதாரணத்துக்கு நீங்க உங்க டயட்ல ஒரு ப்ராடக்டை இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் பண்றீங்க அந்த ப்ராடக்ட் வந்து பார்த்தோம்னா நேச்சுரலா அவைலபிளா இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு கமாடிட்டில இருந்து எடுக்கிறீங்க உதாரணத்துக்கு நீங்க இப்போ ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் கன்சிடர் நீம்ல இருந்து நீங்க ஒரு ப்ராடக்டை உருவாக்குறீங்க ஒரு டயட் டயட்டுக்காக இப்போ நீம் அப்படிங்கிறது நேச்சுரலா அவைலபிளா இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு 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 பிளான்டோ இல்ல ஒரு ட்ரீன் வச்சுக்கோங்களேன் அதுக்கு நம்மளால என்ன பண்ண முடியாதுன்னா பேட்டன் வாங்க முடியாது இப்ப அந்த நீம்ல இருந்து ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் கன்சிடர் அந்த நீம்ல ஒரு பத்து காம்போசிஷன்ஸ் இருக்குது நீங்க சொல்ற அந்த டயட்டுக்கு அந்த ஒன்பதாவது காம்போசிஷனை மட்டும் நீங்க தனியா எடுக்கணும்னு நினைக்கிறீங்க அப்படின்னா அந்த பத்துல இருந்து ஒன்பதாவது காம்போசிஷன் மட்டும் எடுக்கிறீங்க இல்லையா அந்த எடுக்கக்கூடிய ப்ராசஸுக்கு நீங்க என்ன பண்ணிக்கலாம்னா பேட்டன்ட் வாங்கிக்கலாம் சோ நீங்க ஃபுட்ல அந்த எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்ஷன் ப்ராசஸுக்கு என்ன பண்ணிக்கலாம்னா நீங்க வந்து பேட்டன்ட் வாங்கிக்கலாம் மற்றபடி உங்களோட டயட் பிளான் அப்படிங்கிறதுக்கு யூ கான் கெட் பேட்டன் வேற நீங்க அதை என்ன பண்ணிக்கலாம்னா மேபி காபி ரைட்ல ப்ரொடெக்ட் பண்ணிக்கலாம் பட் ஒரு பிஸ்னஸ் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ல அது பெரிய லெவல்ல உங்களுக்கு அந்த டயட் பிளான் ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் கொடுக்குமா அப்படின்னா ஒரு கேள்விக்குறி தான் அந்த டயட்டுக்கான ஒரு 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 ப்ராடக்ட நீங்க அந்த எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்ட் பண்ற ப்ராசஸ் நீங்க என்ன பண்ணிக்கலாம் அப்படின்னா பேட்டன் பண்ணிக்கலாம் யூ கான் பேட்டன் யுவர் டயட் பிளான் அரிசிபிள் <laughs> வாங்கிக்கலாம்ரணத்துக்கு <laughs> நான் என்ன கேள்விப்பட்டேன் அப்படின்னா நம்ம அந்த ஏ டூ பீர்க்குள்ள அடையார் ஆனந்த பவன் இருக்காங்க இல்லையா அடையார் ஆனந்த பவன் என்ன பண்ணாங்க அப்படின்னா சுகர் ஃப்ரீ ஆஹ் ரசகுல்லா வந்து ஆஹ் இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் பண்ணாங்க அண்ட் அதை வந்து பாத்தீங்க அப்படின்னா பேட்டன்ட் வாங்கியிருக்கதா சொல்லப்படுது ஐ ஜஸ்ட் ஐ ட்ரை டு எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் அண்ட் ஐ கன்வே யூ லேட்டர் வித் யோர் ஆர்கனைசர் மூலமா நான் கன்வே பண்றேன் அதுல அவங்க என்ன பண்ணாங்கன்னா சுகர் ஃப்ரீ ரசகுல்லா அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு ப்ராடக்ட வந்து பாத்தீங்க அப்படின்னா லான்ச் பண்ணாங்க இது யாரு போக்கஸ் பண்ணினா டயபெட்டிஸ் பேஷன்ஸுக்காக அப்போ டயபெட்டிஸ் இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகிற அந்த பேராமீட்டரை மட்டும் ரிமூவ் பண்ணி டேஸ்ட்ல எந்த சேஞ்சஸும் கொண்டு வரல ஆனா அந்த சுகர் லெவல கூட்டக்கூடிய அந்த பேராமீட்டரை மட்டும் ரிமூவ் பண்ணி என்ன பண்ணிருக்காங்க அப்படின்னா அந்த ப்ராடக்ட லான்ச் பண்ணிருக்காங்க அது மார்க்கெட்ல சக்சஸ்ஃபுல்லாகவும் போச்சு அதுக்கான பேட்டன் ரேட் அவங்க வாங்கினதாகவும் அதை வந்து இன்ஃபுளுன்ஸ் பண்ணாங்கன்ட்டு வேற காம்படிட்டர்ஸும் உள்ள வந்ததாகவும் சொல்லப்படுது ஸோ அப்போ உங்க கேஸ்ல நீங்க ப்ராசஸுக்கும் நீங்க வாங்கிக்கலாம் நீங்க ஃபைனலா கொண்டு வர அந்த ப்ராடக்ட் யூனிக்கா இருக்குதுன்னா அதையும் வாங்கிக்கலாம் இப்ப உதாரணத்துக்கு ஏ டூ பி அதே ரசகுல்லாவை இப்ப உதாரணத்துக்கு ஒரு ரசகுல்லா ஒரு 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 பீஸ் ஆஃப் ரசகுல்லா வந்து ஒரு பிப்டீன் ருபீஸ் இருக்குதுன்னு வச்சுக்கோங்களேன் அதே ரசகுல்லாவை உங்களால அஞ்சு ரூபாய்க்கு குவாலிட்டி அஃபெக்ட் பண்ணாம ஒரு ப்ராசஸ்ல உருவாக்க முடிஞ்சதுன்னா அந்த ப்ராசஸுக்கு நீங்க பேட்டன்ட் வாங்கிக்கலாம் சோ அதே பதினஞ்சு ரூபா ரசகுல்லாவை நீங்க சுகர் ஃப்ரீ ரசகுல்லாவா மாத்தி கொண்டு வரீங்கன்னா அந்த ப்ராடக்டுக்கு நீங்க என்ன பண்ணிக்கலாம்னா பேட்டன் பண்ணிக்கலாம் 
so that is up to your individual ungaloda thought process da neenga process ku vaangaduma product ku vaangaduma abingiradha neenga dhaan decide panni Thank you, yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Students, if you want any feedback, you can give me. Students, if you have any more questions, you can ask. Otherwise, you can share your feedback. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Sir, I have one doubt. சரி இப்போ நம்ம யாராவது காப்பிரைட்ஸ் பண்ணத வந்து நாம காப்பிரைட்ஸ் பண்ணோம்னா நமக்கு ஏதாவது ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் வருமா சார் கண்டிப்பா வாய்ப்புகள் இருக்குது மேம் சோ அத தான் நாம என்ன சொல்லுவோம்னா இன்ஃப்ரின்ஜ்மென்ட்னு சொல்லுவோம் பட் அது என்ன எப்படி அப்படினா இப்போ நான் ஏற்கனவே சொன்னேன்ல மேம் அத எக்ஸாக்ட்டா நம்ம காப்பிரைட் ஃபைல் பண்றோம் அப்படினா அது எப்போ நமக்கு ப்ராப்ளம் உருவாகும் அப்படினா அந்த オリジナル காப்பிரைட் ஹோல்டர் வந்து அத நோட்டீஸ் பண்ணி நீங்க அந்த காப்பிரைட் வாங்கினது மூலமா நிறைய மார்க்கெட் பெனிஃபிட் உங்களுக்கு வர ஆரம்பிச்சது அப்படின்னா அந்த மாதிரி டைம்ல தான் அந்த இஷ்யூஸ் வரும் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் நீங்க சிவகாசி கேள்விப்பட்டிருப்பீங்க சிவகாசி இஸ் ஃபேமஸ் ஃபார் டூ திங்ஸ் ஒன்னு என்ன அப்படின்னா பட்டாசுகள் ரெண்டாவது வந்து பாத்தீங்க அப்படின்னா இந்த பிளக்ஸ் பிரிண்டிங் இந்த பிரிண்டிங்ல வந்து பாத்தீங்க அப்படின்னா சிவகாசி இஸ் ஃபேமஸ் அங்க என்ன பண்ணுவாங்கன்னா பெரும்பாலான அந்த அந்த பிளக்ஸ் பிரிண்டிங் ஷாப்ஸ்ல வந்து தே பி யூசிங் கோரல் ரா அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு சாப்ட்வேர் மேம் அந்த கோரல் ரா சாப்ட்வேர் என்ன பண்ணாங்க அப்படின்னா பைரேட்டட் வெர்சன்ஸ்ல நிறைய பேர் யூஸ் பண்ண ஆரம்பிச்சாங்க பைரேட்டட் வெர்சன்ஸ் இத அந்த கோரல் ரா அந்த ஒரிஜினல் லைசன்ஸருக்கு தெரிய வந்து அவங்க என்ன பண்ணாங்கன்னா வித் சப்போர்ட் ஆஃப் லோக்கல் போலீஸ் தே வென் ஃபார் ரைட் இன் ஆல் திளக்ஸ் ஷாப்ஸ் சோ அதுக்கப்புறம் என்ன பண்ணாங்க அப்படின்னா தே ஹேட் அ நெகோசியேஷன் அண்ட் இந்த பிளக்ஸ் பிரிண்டிங் எல்லாமே சேர்ந்து ஒரு அசோசியேஷன் ஃபார்ம் பண்ணி அதுக்கப்புறம் லைசன்ஸ்ட் கோரல் ட்ரா வேர்ஷன் என்ன பண்ண ஆரம்பிச்சாங்கன்னா யூஸ் பண்ண ஆரம்பிச்சாங்க நான் ஏன் இதை சொல்றேன் அப்படின்னா ஒரு காபிரைட் ரிலேட்டடான ஒரு இஷ்யூ எப்ப நமக்கு வந்து பிரச்சனையாக வர ஆரம்பிக்கும் அப்படின்னா வென் த ஒரிஜினல் கிரியேட்டர் இஸ் நாட் ஹேவிங் அந்த மானிட்டரி பெனிஃபிட் அவங்களை ரீச் ஆகாம இருந்துச்சு அப்படின்னா அந்த மாதிரி டைம்ல அவங்க அதை இஷ்யூ ஆக்கி பெரிய லெவல்ல கொண்டுட்டு போவாங்க மத்தபடி நீங்க ஒரு காபிரைட்டட் கண்டென்ட வேற ஃபார்மேட்ல உங்க எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் ஆஃப் தாட்ல நீங்க ப்ரெசென்ட் பண்ணீங்க அப்படின்னா இட் இஸ் நாட் சப்ஜெக்ட் டு இன்ஃப்ரின்ஜ்மெண்ட் இப்ப ஈவன் ஒரு எக்ஸாம்பிள் நான் அந்த பிபிடி போட்டிருக்கேன் இந்த ப்ரெசன்டேஷன்ஸ் வந்து பாத்தீங்க அப்படின்னா நான் பவர் பாயிண்ட் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ல நான் ப்ரெசென்ட் பண்ணி கொடுத்துருக்கேன் இஃப் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு கிவ் த சேம் கண்டென்ட் இன் டிஃபரெண்ட் ஃபார்ம் நீங்க ஒரு வேர்ட் டாக்குமெண்டாவோ இல்ல வேற ஒரு இன்ஃபோகிராபிக்கா இதே கண்டென்ட்டை வித் இதே இமேஜஸோட நீங்க இன்ஃபோகிராபிக்கலா இன்னும் பெட்டரா ப்ரெசென்ட் பண்ணீங்க அப்படின்னா அந்த கண்டென்ட் காபிரைட் வாங்கிக்கலாம் அப்போ நீங்க என்ன பண்ண மட்டும் வேண்டி இருக்கும்னா நான் தான் அந்த ஒரிஜினல் கிரியேட்டர்னா என்னைய நீங்க அக்னாலேஜ் மட்டும் பண்ணணும் அந்த அக்னாலேஜ் பண்ணீங்க அப்படின்னா அச ஒரிஜினல் கிரியேட்டர் நான் உங்களை என்ன பண்ண முடியாதுன்னா இன்ஃப்ளூன்ஸ் பண்ண முடியாது உங்க மேல கேஸ் வந்து சூவ் பண்ண முடியாது சோ அது ஒண்ணுதான் நான் போட்டிருந்த ஆசெட்ஸ் அப்படியே இன்னொருத்தவங்க வந்து காப்பிரைட்டுக்கு ஃபைல் பண்ணி அதுல பெனிஃபிட் அடையறாங்கன்னா தென் இட் இஸ் சப்ஜெக்ட் டு அ ப்ராப்ளம் வேரஸ் இன் அ டிஃபரெண்ட் ஃபார்ம்ல அதை எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் பண்ணிருந்தாங்க அப்படின்னா it is not it is not a problem because ninga or simple example sollala appadina innikku varakudiya therai padangal ellam pathinga appadina nareya music palaya music remix panni use pannirupanga ipo udharanathukku ninga darbar film kuda eduthirukinga appadina adula superstar varumbodhu anna malaiyoda music anirudha enna pannirparna remix panni ulle introduce pannirpar அது அவரோட எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் ஆஃப் தாட்ஸ் ஆனா என்ன பண்ணிருப்பாருனா தேவாவை அக்னாலேஜ் பண்ணிருப்பாரு அந்த அண்ணாமலையோட ஒரிஜினல் மியூசிக் யார் கிரியேட் பண்ணிருந்தாங்க அப்படின்னா மியூசிக் கம்போசர் தேவா சார் அப்ப அந்த அண்ணாமலை சாரி தர்பாரோட ஆடியோ லான்ச்சுக்கு முன்னாடி பார்த்தோம்னா ஒரு வீடியோ வைரலா போச்சு அது என்ன வீடியோனா அனிருத்தோட கம்போசிங் ஏரியால தேவா சார் உள்ள இருந்து ரெண்டு பேர் சேர்ந்து அந்த மியூசிக் வந்து பிளே பண்ணிட்டு இருப்பாங்க இட்ஸ் அ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அக்னாலஜி சோ அப்ப அதை நம்ம கரெக்டா அக்னாலேஜ் பண்ணிட்டோம்னா அது என்னைக்குமே ப்ராப்ளமா இருக்காது Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon. So, what are the criteria for applying trademark for new products, sir? Uh, trademark, if you look at it, just like you have an IP office in our website, you type intellectual property in India and Google, you can go to an IP office in our website. அந்த வெப்சைட் குள்ள போனீங்க அப்படின்னா ட்ரேட்மார்க் ஒரு டேப் இருக்கும் பா சோ அந்த ட்ரேட்மார்க் டேப்ல யூ வில் பி யூ வில் பி ஏபிள் டு சி ஏ ஃபார்ம் 
அந்த ஃபார்மை நீங்க ஃபில் பண்ணி நீங்க எதை ட்ரேட்மார்க்ல ப்ரொடெக்ட் பண்ணணும் நினைக்கிறீங்களோ அதோட அந்த இமேஜோ இல்ல அந்த வேர்டோ அதை வந்து ஒரு கிராபிக்கல் ரெப்ரஸன்டேஷனா நீங்க அனெக்ஸ் பண்ணி அப்ளை பண்ணீங்க அப்படின்னா யோர் ட்ரேட்மார்க் அப்ளிகேஷன் வில் பி ப்ராசஸ் அவ்வளவுதான் ஸோ இங்க இந்தியால இந்தியான இல்ல அக்ராஸ் த வேர்ல்ட் process of applying is very simplified. The fees are not applicable. If you have an IP right, the fees change very well. Even if I am right, trademark, if I am right, 10,000 rupees in the trademark, even the government of India is reimbursing that amount. நீங்க ட்ரேட்மார்க் அப்ளை பண்ணி அந்த ட்ரேட்மார்க் கிராண்ட் ஆச்சு அப்படின்னா நீங்க ஸ்பெண்ட் பண்ண அந்த அமௌண்ட் இன்க்ளூடிங் நீங்களே பண்ணாம வெளியில ஒரு ப்ரொஃபஷனல் கிட்ட கொடுத்து நீங்க அப்ளை பண்ணாத கன்சல்டன்சி கிட்ட கொடுத்து அப்ளை பண்ணீங்கனாலும் அந்த கன்சல்டன்சி சார்ஜோட சேர்த்து என்ன பண்றாங்க அப்படின்னா தேர் ரீஇம்போஸ் சோ இன்னைக்கு கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா அஸ் வெல் அஸ் எவ்ரி ஸ்டேட் கவர்மெண்ட் தே ஆர் ப்ரொவைடிங் லாட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபண்ட்ஸ் சோ இந்த ஐபி ப்ரொடெக்ஷனுக்கு எக்கச்சக்கமான ஃபண்ட்ஸ் வந்து தே ஹாவ் தே ஆர் ப்ரொவைடிங் சோ அதுக்குன்னு நிறைய ஒதுக்கி வச்சிருக்காங்க அண்ட் ஈவன் ஒரு ஸ்கீம் கூட பாத்தீங்க அப்படின்னா இருக்கும் கபிலா ப்ரோக்ராம் அப்படின்ட்டு கலாம் ஐபி லிட்ரஸி அவேர்னஸ் அப்படின்ட்டு அதுல பாத்தீங்க அப்படின்னா ஒவ்வொரு இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன்ஸுக்கும் வந்து பார்த்தோம் அப்படின்னா தே ஆர் ப்ரொவைடிங் மேக்சிமம் ஆஃப் டென் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஃபைல் பண்றதுக்கான அந்த ஃபண்டை வந்து ரீஇம்போஸ் பண்றாங்க ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் இருக்கு நீங்க ஃபண்டு பெருசா இருக்குது அப்படின்னு நீங்க எதுவும் நினைக்க வேணாம் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் எல்லாம் ஸோ த கவர்மெண்ட் இஸ் ரெடி டு ரீஇம்போஸ் தட் ஸோ அதெல்லாம் நீங்க அந்த ஐபி இந்தியா வெப்சைட் குள்ள போய் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் பண்ணி பாத்தீங்கன்னா என்னென்ன ஸ்கீம்ஸ் இருக்குது எப்படி அப்ளை பண்ணணும் அப்படிங்கிற எல்லா ப்ராசஸ்மே வந்து அதுல அவைலபிளா இருக்கும் my voice is audible ah yes ma'am now it's audible sorry thank you sir personally i would like to say uh, even a small things were unclear yeah regarding copyright sir now uh, many things are clear at the end of your presentations seriously yeah. and, uh, and actually we have taken step uh, the initiation to procure a copyright certificate and your presentation has cited as to a yeah, lot in this regards yes thank you thank, thank, thank you so much sir thank you ma'am and uh, and your examples were given so awesome <laughs> i enjoyed it is very simple and small things but it very thoughtful yeah, i enjoyed you. it thank yeah, you yeah. apart from this uh, uh, that i was able to clearly understand the value of copyright and the patent clearly understand my side and it will be help a lot in my future in the future yeah, yeah and then, and one request and one request from uh, given to you sir yes, let me ask a favor yeah sure we will need your help and guidance uh, in times to come yeah sorry help in we will need your help and your guidance in times to come yeah sure 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 ma'am sure. that's not a problem thank you so much sir excellent presentation thank you thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for your valuable session because we are in eye opening session thank, thank you for thank your you. valuable time yeah thank you thank you may I leave with your permission yeah. yes sir sure, sure. yes yeah, sir thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. students kindly fill the feedback feedback box in the chat box